mining is a whole new ball game. The rocks don't grow back like the trees do. It's displacement and dislocation from your area. For example, when we go to the dentist and we extract a muela, we don't say, I produce a muela. We extract a muela that will never come back in life. It's displacement of our communities, destruction of our sacred lands, and there's insufficient food supply, and as well as water. There are also psychological stress, especially in indigenous women. Que toda esa, esa destrucción que se está generando a la madre naturaleza, las consecuencias lo vivimos todos. Porque cuando debe de llover hay mucho sol y cuando hay mucho sol hay frío, entonces este, el clima ha cambiado totalmente. Whatever project it is, if it's a mine, a forestry, is it going to help us become a stronger nation? If a mine was going to come into our area, to be able to look at where we were as a community and a nation when our language was intact and our culture and we were connected to the land, to where we are now after colonization, and then to ask the question of where we want to be in the future. Is this project going to help you get there? Hemos buscado nuestras raíces, hemos fortalecido nuestra fuerza como pueblos originarios. Hemos ido discutiendo y cre creado nuevos conceptos para definir un modelo de vida, una economía para la vida. Porque es mentira que los que no queremos minería o no queremos megaproyecto en nuestros territorios es que estamos contra el desarrollo sino que simplemente tenemos otra visión de lo que es la economía para las comunidades eh, mayas, garífunas y xincas en Guatemala. These women uh, are really living the principles of the rights that are enshrined in the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. They are living free prior and informed consent by working with their communities to help them understand the implications of resource extraction and to make informed decisions. And they're trying to have those decisions heard uh, and respected as they should, uh, given the UN Declaration commitments. And so women are at the forefront of those struggles. They are standing up for life and for their communities and for a sustainable future. We as indigenous peoples of the world hold the key to the continuation of life on this planet. I just feel empowered. I feel that when women um, joined our hands together for our beloved mother, the earth, that she will be our greatest ally.